Yeah, Thursday. I'm Coach Skip at Wildfire CrossFit, and I've got your Thursday workout explained. So uh, we've had a great week already. It's getting towards the end of the week. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up this weekend, and uh, we'll see where next week takes us. So getting started here. You've got two rounds for the warm-up, and we're going to be going one minute at each station. And so how this is going to go is you are going to be doing – uh, one minute of jump rope. If you've got your rope, grab it. If you don't have a rope or a place to really swing it safely, then just get that vertical jump in. Keep those elbows tight, wrists out, and a small spin with the wrists. Let your body do the work. Uh, if you're getting these big circles, that's going to throw your jump rope off. So really keep it tight. If at the end of that minute you want to start adding in double unders, either with a rope or without, you just get a little bit more power and that double spin each time. After that, you're going to get into that slow push-up, otherwise known as a three-second push-up. So get in that plank position. Three, two, one, down. Three, two, one, up. And at the bottom, make sure you keep some tension there. You don't need to completely release. Keep a little tension at the bottom, and that's really going to work that chest, shoulders, biceps area that we're going to need for the dips that we're going to get into for the strength. If you need to do this off your knees, same thing. Keep that torso straight, nice and slow down, nice and slow back up. Next one is going to be a dead bug. So on that dead bug, you're going to be flat on your back. And this one, you're keeping your shoulders to the ground as much as possible, and you're bringing your opposite hand to your opposite foot, and then alternating back and forth here. And just do that for a minute. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, once you get up to the top, go down nice and slow, and then switch, and nice and slow on the way down. Second round, maybe pick it up and go a little bit faster, and that way you really get that intensity there as we get into it. The last one is going to be what's called a kneel to stand, so you're in that kneeling position, and you're sitting back on your heels with your toes tucked under, and you're just going to bring that left leg up, right leg up, and stand up. Then go back down into that squat, back down to that right knee, back down to that left knee, and all the way down. The next time, go right leg, left leg, and stand, and then back down, left leg, right leg, and back to kneel. So... Just keep alternating through that, switch legs every time, and just work out those legs. It's a little bit different exercise, but it's going to help get you ready for the box step-ups in the strength as well. Once you get through all four one-minute exercises, after the first round, you're going to do that lunge and twist. So get that big lunge and turn towards that front leg. Make sure on this that you're keeping that back knee off the ground, and you're always going to turn towards that front leg. And you're going to make sure that that front leg is the one that you turn towards, so the one that's planted and that foot that's flat. So go back and forth with that one. And then the other one, uh, after the second round, you're going to do a thread the needle where you're going back and forth and just getting those shoulders stretched out back and forth here. So uh, that is your... Uh, warm up, uh, two rounds, two rounds of jump rope, slow push ups, dead bugs, and knees to stand. And then after the first round, you're going to do lunge and twist. After the second round, you're going to do a thread the needle. For the strength today, we've got five sets of weighted box step ups and then uh, max reps of dips. You can use the rings. You can use a bench, you can use a couple of folding chairs, whatever you've got nearby. Uh, a couple of plates will actually work if you've got a couple of stacks of plates. That'll work just great on these. So first of all, on those box step-ups, and depending on where your skill level is at, you might start out that first set with no weight at all and then add from there. If you're good, you could use a barbell, you can use one dumbbell, two dumbbells, you can have them at your side, you can put them in your rack position, whatever makes it more challenging as you go up. You might even start with having it at your side, 
But then as you increase and increase uh, those uh, reps and sets, you might bring it up to the rack position and just stand all the way up and then step back down and make sure you switch legs every single time. You are gonna do five each leg with these. Now, if you do not have a safe platform, a safe box, a uh, heavy chair, something that you can safely stand up on, then we wanna switch this to a lunge. You're gonna be working the exact same muscles and same thing, you're just gonna be stepping all the way down, touch that back knee, and drive away from that heel and alternate legs right down and drive away and so same thing do five each leg for a total of ten on those on the dips you can use a bench chair rings uh, if you've got rings that would be the prescribed version of this one now I'm using a chair and a box right here and so this is a really good way to be able to get my feet straight out in front of me and really make sure that I'm activating all the right muscles here. And so how this is gonna go is I am going to get those feet straight out, get down as low as I can, and right out of it for those reps. And just go until you just can't go anymore. If you want to use just a chair, that's totally fine. It's just gonna be a more narrow position unless you've got a wider chair or two folding chairs. And so that's also going to uh, help really engage the right muscles. Just make sure you get down low and you keep your body close to that object. The further you push yourself away, the more negative impact you're gonna have on that shoulder. Same thing with a bench. If you've got a bench there, then you can do the same thing and put those legs straight out. If you need to, you can always bring those feet in and do it this way. This is going to increase your reps by bringing those feet in, but it also might increase your range of motion, but we definitely want that range of motion. In a dip, we wanna make sure we get that full 90 degree, that bicep all the way to the ring, and then push away. So just do as many reps as possible. Once you break, record your score, and you're gonna do that set directly after each set of the weighted box step ups. Uh, after you get done with your set of 10 step ups and your max set of dips, rest a couple of minutes and then go through that next set. For the workout today, we have got a four time workout and you're gonna be doing 10 reps of each exercise, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, of each exercise. And so you've got a power clean and then a thruster. And you are gonna go through all 10 power cleans before you get into the thrusters. Now, again, if you've got a barbell, you're gonna start on the ground and you're gonna bring that weight up to the rack position and then right back down touching the ground each time between reps. On the thrusters from that rack position, you're getting that full squat below parallel and drive through and make sure you get that head through the window with every single rep on these. For this workout, uh, while everything we're doing is pick load, if we were to put a prescribed weight on it, it would be uh, 115 for guys and 75 for girls. If you don't have a barbell, but have a set of dumbbells, you can do the same thing here where you're going all the way down, you only need to touch one head of the dumbbell, bring it up to the rack position, and just keep that motion going. And then same thing for the thruster, get that full squat and explode all the way out of it, right up and down on that one. If you have one dumbbell that's heavier, you can do the same thing in that power clean, just hold it in both hands, right down, and bring it up, and just right up and down, and same thing with that thruster, where you get all the way down and explode up and out of it. Uh, if it was with dumbbells, we'd probably go 50 and 35, and if you're doing one dumbbell instead of two dumbbells, you might wanna just up the reps a little bit, and, and do uh, like 10 each arm, 
to really make it challenging. Same thing on the thrusters, 10 each arm instead of 10 total. Then nine each arm, eight each arm, you get the point. Just alternate reps every time. So when you do that right, bring it up to the rack position, switch arms, and do the next one. And just do that way. Same thing with that thruster. Get all the way in the bottom of that squat. Explode through, switch arms, and do it again. And just complete your reps that way. So this one is a burner. So go hard, go fast, have fun, record your score, and uh, let us know how you're doing. So uh, great job, guys. Keep up the good work. If you need anything, let us know, and we'll see you again soon.